I saw Tyler Perry's A Fall From Grace. Listen, this movie was more like a fall from I don't give a shit about editing, I don't give a shit about the extras, I don't give a shit about adding too much voiceover. I'm gonna get two good burgers and two good shakes, please. What's going on VIPs? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Listen, I saw Tyler Perry's A Fall From Grace. Listen, this movie was more like a fall from I don't give a shit about editing. I don't give a shit about the extras. I don't give a shit about adding too much voiceover. I don't give a shit about filming this and taking my time. I had to get it out of my system because this movie was a hot mess. Tyler Perry, I'm usually a really big fan of yours. Even when people are dogging you out, brother, I am defending you to the fullest, but I'm just, I just can't accept no bullshit. I'm, t I'm just, I just can't accept the bullshit anymore. I can't accept horrible quality stuff. Okay, now your films may look like they in HD, honey, but that's, that's it. That, that's, that's all you got to offer. Everything else in this film was a hot ass mess, and I'm here to talk all about it. So if you've seen A Fall From Grace, it's on Netflix right now. First of all, the movie came from nowhere. It just fell out the sky. I'm like, where did this movie come from? Usually, you know, we're waiting for his stuff to come to the theaters, but oh, oh, it's coming to Netflix. Much better, okay, great, wonderful, great, easy access. So I watched the film and I'm just noticing some stuff and I'm just like, Okay, like the first mistake, I'm like, okay, that's expected. No Tyler Perry. <laughs> no Tyler Perry. But then I kept seeing stuff happen over and over and over again. I'm just like, no, Tyler. The whole time, I was just like, no, Tyler. I was just so disappointed. And I be wondering what these actors be thinking because they know they in some bullshit. Are they thinking, well, you know what? I'm getting paid, so it don't even matter. Do y'all do y'all do y'all care about your reputation? Are y'all scared this is gonna like mess things up for you? Because I'd be kind of weary about signing the dotted line with Tyler Perry. Now, Tyler, we know you got some, you know, we know you got all the resources in the world, you got all the money, you know, you have you have the biggest studio lot here in America. You're the only one who has the largest studio lot here in America. You know everybody. You you have the best contacts, you know Cecily Tyson. Uh, which is a le legend, you know all these people, but the quality is just, what, what, what are you doing? I heard through the grapevine that you filmed the movie in five days. Five days? Girl, five days, girl. Five days, Tyler, really? That should be illegal. Actors usually, don't they, don't they, don't they, you don't actors usually look forward to like being on set for a number of months so they can get paid? Honey, if I'm getting paid for only five days of work, honey, I don't want it. I don't want the project, honey. You, that, that, you cut my pay. Oh, no, 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 sir. Are you trying to save money, Tyler? Are you, are you being greedy? Okay, enough of the jibber jabber. Let's talk about the facts of this movie, the horrible facts of this movie, honey. Let's get right into it. First of all, this movie is so similar to Acrimony. It's ridiculous, okay? Too much voiceover work. And in a nutshell, let me show you guys what I mean because I actually tweeted this. I said, um, excuse me, Tyler, these movies are the damn same. The woman that scorns sits down and tells a story with too much damn voiceover. Everything's great at first in the relationship. Man ends up using woman. Woman goes cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, the end. Basically, that's how both the damn movies, that's how both the, that's the summary of both the damn movies. So the Fall from Grace is a little bit different, of course. You know, it's a little, it's a little remix, but it's basically the same damn thing. And it's just like Tyler, when are you gonna when are you gonna realize, sir, that your views and your thoughts aren't the only views and thoughts of black women? How about you hire some black women to write the movies? Are you have you ever thought about that? I mean, I know that you know you employ so many other people and you give so many other actors and and film crew members opportunities, and that's wonderful and that's great, and I appreciate that. But don't you think you should have at least one other person in the writing room? Like you just want to have control over the whole writing room? I mean, that's not the feat the whole purpose of you trying to create the table and create spots for people to come to the table? If any table should exist, shouldn't it be the writer's table? I mean, I just don't understand what the problem is. So I, I just, I just, usually Tyler, I'm, I'm, I'm your biggest fan and I'm defending you like hell on Twitter. But honey, this go around, I can't, I, I, I just can't, I can't act like 
this film was great because it wasn't great. Okay, let me let me get back into the other issues that I had with the film. And I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed if you haven't, but if you haven't, I'm here to give you all the details, okay? We've already talked about it being very similar to Acrimony, okay? Too much voiceover. The voice, it was voiceover kill. Talk about lazy ass storytelling because the voiceover was telling the whole story. Can we just watch the film and figure out for our, can we, I just, just too much voiceover. Like in A Fall From Grace, this is the part where I start speaking over my own character's voice. How could you do that to us, Tyler? How could you do that to me? How could you do it to us? To us? Do better, Tyler. Do better. Okay, second, continuity issues. Somebody tweeted in the scene where um scene where Grace and Jasmine is at the jail cell and they're talking. One mama her wig is um down a little bit, and then the next scene her wig is a little more frizzled out. Tyler, what's going on? Where your continuity person at? I mean, you know, shooting the film in five days, that that'll do it. It'll do it to you. Okay, third, Tyler, what's going on with your extras? Get your extras together, okay? Look, my very first film was with you, Tyler. It was Meet the Browns movie and then Meet the Browns TV series. I played an extra. I followed directions as an extra, okay? I knew my place. I knew my position, honey. I didn't look all in the camera. People looking in the cameras. Hey, girl, long day. People eating food that ain't there. People drinking beverages that ain't there. I didn't go. I didn't go. Also, very awkward wide angle shots. Like it just looks so weird. I didn't know if the extras were a part of the film and, and principal characters or what. The wide angle shots, it was just very awkward. It was very weird. It just didn't look right. I mean, but you know, filming the film in five days, it'll do that to you. Okay, so you want us to believe that Makad Brooks' character, you know, you want us to believe that he's dead when 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 she when she, you know, throws him down the stairs after beating him with the bat. You want us to believe that he's dead. Well, honey, how does his body move? Why does his body move? I, I mean, I, I mean, I know that eventually in the film we found out he's not dead, but you want us to believe that he's dead, right? So why his body move? You should have did that scene a couple more times, Tyler. But you know, filming the film in five days will do that to you. Okay, next, Felicia Rashad. Okay, at the end, Tyler. Okay, she gets handcuffed. Okay, how the hell does she get away, Tyler? How the hell does she go on with her life and steal someone else's identity? And, like, how? She was handcuffed. How, Tyler? How? I, I just don't, I, you know, I don't understand it. 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 But you know, filming a film in five days will do that to you. The movie seemed a little rushed, you know. Yeah, we get it. You know, she wants to fall in love. She's a little desperate for love. She's 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 hurt and she's upset. But you know, have her be a little resistant a little bit. Don't have her just dive in so much. Have her be just a little just I mean, by the time she's finally resistant, she's already married to the guy. By the time she has some some pushback, she's already married to the guy. She should have been doing this before like they got married. Like when they were dating, she should have been acting like this. Like Let's have a little more realisticness in this in this situation. We all know that Tyler Perry films are um, for a particular audience, and honestly, you know, it's not even so much for us millennials because us millennials, you know, we we are gonna nitpick, of course. However, our parents and our aunts and uncles, they don't really care too much about that kind of stuff. I, I mean, I feel like, of course. You know, some some of them do, but for the most part, they just there just to look, just to be entertained. They're just there to to you know somehow connect and um, relate, and they just there to you know, to be entertained. And unfortunately, we have to kind of look at most of his films like that. We only go to see one thing from Tyler, and so now, unfortunately. For Tyler, it's expected to just expect what we are, what 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 he does all the time, which is consistent. You know, Tyler, you should have. This is like your thirtieth thousandth film because you do like sixteen a year. You know, this is like you you've done so many films. You have so many films under your belt. You would think that your films would just be getting would just get better and better and better. But instead, each latest film seems like it's your first film. Now, I loved Why Did I Get Married. I love A Family That Prays, but a lot of others, they just, mm, they just end, they just don't, they end too soon, they end awkwardly. 
the acting is bad. I just, I don't get it, Tyler. Um, I, you know, you as someone who is on top of the world and has so much at your fingertips, you know, we don't expect you to be perfect, Tyler, but making the same mistakes over and over and over and over and over again, I mean, that's no excuse. And we as the audience, we as the consumer, we just letting you know, we just not gonna take just anything, you know? We don't wanna just accept anything. I mean, I honestly felt from looking at A Fall From Grace, you did this film five years ago, and then you said, you know what? Netflix called, go ahead and throw out that film I did five years ago that I ain't, just throw, throw, get it to them. All right, you guys, that's my Crash Course Film Review. I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you want me to make other reviews of other films, um, and I'll be glad to. All right, VIPs, I'll catch you guys later. I'll see you next time. Bye.